What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I want to share some good news with you guys. I'm about to polish the first soccer game with my game engine, that untold engine, and I want to talk about it. So, let's do this. Hey guys, if you are new to my channel, I'm Jero Serrano and I develop game engines. And if you are a new indie game engine developer or an experienced one, uh, I want to invite you to join our community. Uh, we have a group of uh, developers, uh, each of us developing our own game engines. Um, and the cool thing about this discourse community is that we are very chill, relaxed. We like to share tips, help each other out, uh, and improve our own game engines. Um, so if you want to join a community like that, you are more than welcome to join us. I'm going to provide a link in the description below. All right, guys, so let's talk about the good news that I have. I decided to publish a video game with my game engine, the Untold Engine. The reason being is that I want to start uh, putting the engine to the test uh, by making games and publishing them and see how it can handle the public. Um, why, why did I decide to do that? Well, basically I have big dreams and big visions for the Untold Engine. And as of now, um, you would have noticed that in every release that I did for the game engine, I would do a small demo where I would showcase the latest features of the game engine. Now, demos are great, but they don't really put a game engine to the test. Um, so I decided to make a game and publish it and see how it can handle, you know, being out in the wild. Um, so I decided to focus and develop a mobile soccer game. More specifically, I, um, a hyper casual mobile soccer game with a small, uh, with a short gameplay and a very simple game mechanic. The reason why, I will explain why in a second. Um, but the name of the game is uh, Untold Soccer. Um, and I want to release it very soon. Um, so, um, I was able to develop this game in a relatively short amount of time, uh, mainly because I already had um, knowledge on how to develop a soccer game. Um, if you've been following me for a while, um, I think I told you guys that I tried developing a soccer game way back in 2017 when that game engine was still in its infancy. Um, at that time, I failed miserably. Um, I was not able to develop a soccer game, but through that failure, I actually learned what not to do when developing a soccer game and what you need to focus on. So since I already had that knowledge and all of that code base, all of what I had to do was uh, review the code, uh, improve it, fix it, and I was able to have a game in that amount of time. Now, the second reason why I was able to do that is also that I decided to, um, instead of making a full-blown game with many levels and complex game mechanics, I decided to take the same approach that um, hyper casual game studios take um, and that is they focus on developing a game that has a very simple game mechanic and a very short gameplay um, the gameplay for my game is about a minute long uh, so you know because i already had experience and because i decided to take a different approach that allowed me to develop a game in a month and a half um, so I'm hoping to uh, to keep uh, taking this approach with my other games because I feel that it's going to allow me to learn and fail fast through the through the development of every game. Right, um, I will be able to see you know, the mistakes that I did in my game engine a lot faster than if I would take a whole year to develop a game with my game engine. So. Because of those two reasons, um, knowledge uh, on soccer game development and uh, different approach to game development, um, I was able to develop this game in about a, in about a month or so. Um, now, aside from doing all of that, what else did I do? Well, uh, because since I'm going to you know, release a game, I needed to learn a little, a little bit about marketing, especially uh, in the game marketing. So I spent several nights uh, watching YouTube videos. Uh, from successful game developers and I learned, you know, quite a lot uh, about how to market your game. Um, 
And aside from that, I also learned a lot, a lot about keyword research and um, app store optimization, which I had no idea that you needed to do that as well. So I did all of that, you know, watch videos, and I had to also get in contact with some um, 3D designers and artists. Um, luckily for me this time, I went on Fiverr and I was able to find really good, talented artists. Uh, usually I find, I find crappy ones, but this time I was very lucky. Um, and one of the artists uh, designed the 3D soccer character, which I really lo loved his work. I loved his work so much that I decided to hire him to do more animation and more animations for the game. Um, and then I also found this uh, logo designer that ended up doing the uh, the icon for the uh, for the game and also the splash screen um, that will be shown whenever you um, you know uh, start playing the game. I really love their work. Now, right now, uh, there is a writer who is uh, currently doing the whole uh, game description that will be shown on the App Store and also on the landing page for the game. I'm really excited to see, you know, what he comes up with. Uh, but the whole idea is that to entice you, right, uh, to download the game, um, you know, so, you know, that's the whole point, right? So let's see how, you know, how it turns out. Now, I was going to release the game uh, in the first week or second week of July. However, I talked to some game developers and they suggested that I do a soft release, uh, meaning that you basically release a better build of the game um, and, you send, uh, um, and you send that to selected users uh, and they would be able to give you feedback, um, you know, submit bugs, um, give you ideas, and then you can just go and, you know, go back to the drawing board fix what they told you to fix and then you keep doing that over and over again until that game is stable and you can release it to the public. Now I really like that idea and luckily for me the app store allows you to do something like that. So I'm going to release um, like a soft release of the game uh, and send that uh, to selected users. Uh, they will be basically doing testing on the game um, and provide feedback. And once everything is ready, then I'll release the game. So I'm hoping to 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 release the game sometime in August, probably. So um, if you want to help me out and you want to test the game, uh, I'm going to provide a link in the description below where uh, you can sign up. And whenever the game uh, is ready, you'll get notified and you'll get to test it. Um, all right, guys. Um, I know this is a completely different type of video than what I usually do. I usually like to do a video where I share what I know about game engine development, but this video is a little bit different. Uh, it's more about, you know, just sharing what I did. Um, but, you know, I hope you found it interesting. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Do not forget to join my Discord server and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, if you like this video, uh, click that like button. That really helps a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.